Well, continuing coverage tonight, Buffalo Bills football player DeMar Hamlin is in critical condition after he suffered cardiac arrest on the field last night. As we told you, and perhaps if you saw this, the 24-year-old collapsed in the first quarter of the game against the Bengals after a hit on Bengals wide receiver T. Higgins. Hamlin quickly stood up, took two steps, and then collapsed. Medics performed CPR for several minutes before Hamlin was taken away in an ambulance. The team's most recent update today said Hamlin was sedated and is in critical condition. Now, incidents are fairly common on the football field, of course. It's a violent sport, and that's why medics are kept on the sidelines, prepared for any emergency. Uh, but we're told that what happened to Hamlin is really rare. The severe blow to the chest caused his heartbeat to get out of rhythm. We spoke to American Medical Response, or AMR, about what goes through an EMT's mind when something like this happens on the field. We're going to get down there. We're going to request some help. Um, we're going to get our defibrillators out. We're going to go ahead and get initiated the CPR and get that going because um, that's the most important to get that CPR going as quickly as possible for a higher chance of survival. Um, for a defibrillator, if we can get them defibrillated, which puts their heart back into rhythm. It gives them a shock, helps their heart get back into the rhythm. If we can get that defibrillator to that patient within one minute, they generally have a 100% chance of survival. After two minutes, that ch chance of survival drops down to 80% and so on. So we wanna get right on top of it really quick. So what's going through our heads is what's happening with the patient and how quickly do we need to get this patient to the hospital and get CPR going. And plug our connector in. Now, Hamlin's cardiac arrest is prompting calls for more people to learn CPR and learn how to use AED devices. Coming up tonight at 6, the Red Cross walks us through what to do in an emergency to save a life.